So. Hi, my name is Albert Chuback, Echo V Box. Uh, lady brought a beehive over today, wanted me to inspect it. Uh, she got it sometime in May, June. She added another box on it in July, and she wanted me to just see how it is done. She has collected one frame of honey, and I just opened open the box. You get some burr comb. That can be cleaned off. It can just be scraped. Uh, the bees are nice and mild. They don't seem like they're aggressive. I'm looking in, straight down in between the frames, and they're all filled, all the frames. That's telling me that this should have a second box. You put another box up on top if you want honey, you honey up, or you put a box underneath for brood, brood down. Honey up, brood down. Um, I don't typically pull a center frame out because that's where the queen could possibly be. So I want to pull out a frame on the outside first. This is pretty much all honey and nectar. There is no lower frame. Um, it's dripping, it's full, it's very heavy. I was wondering why it was so heavy when I was pulling it out. So that frame, really, even though this bottom section is nectar, this is all honey, it could be harvested. But we're gonna look at the rest of it and see what else is going on. So the lower box doesn't have any frames. This frame is all filled with cat brood. This section here is all filled with eggs. So it looks like everything is good. Even these empty cells have eggs and larvae. You can see uh, flat cells, which are girls. You can see the odd uh, bulging cell, which is uh, boys. Uh, eggs and larvae all the way to the bottom. So they've done really, really good with this. Um, so that's a brood frame. Now you can see that there's two. So we might not find the queen because she could be in there and that's all cat brood. These can be cut out and put inside another frame with just an elastic band so that these are all kept and saved. Again, all brood, uh, eggs, all the way down to the bottom, royal jelly there. Everything looks really nice on there. Again, all brood. Uh, the cells that are open all have larvae and eggs and royal jelly. Uh, looks healthy, the bees appear to uh, be happy. Uh, they're not mad. Everything is fine. Um, again, I would cut this out and I would put it into another frame and use an elastic band. You're going to lose some of the edges, but you'll still have that harvested. Or you just leave it and let the bees do it. It doesn't matter. There's the queen. There's the queen. She's a really nice dark queen. Uh, any queen is a good one, but she's nice and long. She looks like the ones that I got from Kona. Uh, a, a long, slender, dark queen. But she's doing a fantastic job. This one's filled with eggs and, not eggs, yeah, there's eggs. Eggs and larva cap brood. The uh, bottom is all pollen. 
bee bread. The last frame I'm not going to pull out, but I can see it's also uh, uh, brewed, so it, it looks good. So once this colony hatches, all this hatches, being it's as full as it is right now, there won't be any room for these bees. There's just not going to be enough room. So I would put uh, another box on top because they have no uh, honey reserves other than that frame. So I'd put another box on top so that when they hatch they have another box to grow into. Being we're in Utah where it's just finally gotten cool, we're going to get the fall flowers and nectar. It's going to be a, a nectar flow here for the next two months. So they'll easily fill out that next box and then I would add another box yet still this year to the bottom. So this colony is doing fantastic. Um, the honey frame was in the front. This is the entrance. It was at the front of the hive. The brood was to the back where it's safe. Uh, everything appears good and healthy with this colony. Uh, all the next boxes, I definitely add frames. And that's all. Thank you.